back-to-back -back wins at back-to-back -back court hearings for the patients of the former James Square Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. This morning, the case zeroing in on the former owners after the current owners got out of the legal battle yesterday. The Supreme Court Justice approving a settlement forcing them to improve care of patients, which they say is already underway. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us inside to see if the new management is keeping its promise. In court, Laura Capazzolo has heard all about the changes promised at the nursing home where her mom lives, but she won't believe them until her mom sees them. Is it as bad as it was? No, it's not as bad. I did ask her that the other day, and she says it's gotten a little bit better, but, you know, with all good things, it takes time. The facility has one year to improve patient care, mandated by a Supreme Court justice. What kind of a mess did you have to clean up? Well, you know, it's, uh, I don't think we really knew the extent of... Uh, the lacking of services and actually cash available for the facility. So obviously repairs are a big thing that we're still uh, involved in. The administrator says the owners paid up to clean the slate, including a new name, and now are investing millions and making hires. We're moving residents as we do a wing. So in a couple days, residents there will move here while we do work there. Upstairs, rooms are being remodeled. Downstairs... Well, this is the new rehab gym, which will have physical therapy, OT, speech. Right now, residents, their guests, and staff have to use a side door because the main entrance is closed as crews work to renovate the lobby and for the first time in this facility, put in a cafe for the residents to use. When you go through the class action lawsuit, there are just horrific stories that happened in these hallways. Are those days over? Oh, those days are definitely over. And I think one of our challenges is to, I think the residents have had a great, they see it, the change, but it's hard uh, to change your perceptions in the community. The community is watching, and so is the judge. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And we are told new patient programs are on the way. Already in the event of emergencies, EMTs on staff 24 hours a day who can video conference ER doctors. And starting this month, new respiratory and dialysis programs.